Hi, it's me again with Road All Tips and Tricks. So, mate, I know you are getting tired of this multi cross, Maltese cross, but I, I could, we could draw these in less than a minute. And this young lady probably took a long time to do it. So, I'm going to make a circle with the Smart Fill tool and hit P just to give me about the same size. This is so easy. If you remember the magical number 3654, hit P, put it in the center of the page. Rotate that 36 degrees. Control D, rotate it 54 degrees. It's hard to grab those two objects, but if you hold down the Alt key, you can just touch them and then Control D and mirror them. Or I forget, there is no magical numbers. I just measured the, I, I did this on hers to find out the distance and the uh, relative from there. Now, we're going to take a rectangle or a square holding down the control button and we're going to hit P. Before you do anything else, hit the plus key on the keyboard and make a copy of that because you can use it again. Because if this one doesn't come out like planned, I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and move this ellipse up. See where I'm going? I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete that line, that line, and this line. I, I had to hit it twice because of the fact that the indexing line stopped it. Look at our shape. I'm going to nudge that up. I'm going to left click, right click. I'm going to round off some corners. I'm going to close, actually close this docker so people know where it is. I'm going to go to windows, dockers, and corners. And see, it's already trying to do it because I've got it set on 0 0.06. Look at the difference. Now, take your ellipse and nudge it out of the way. Whoop. I actually got the, the, the square. And then we can delete all this. One, we've got a copy of it right there. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now, the only, there's a couple of things you got to think about because we're going to be putting a half circle on top of a circle. So welding can be a problem. But if I nudge that down, and now I'm going to make it that magical what we've been using three quarters of an inch line and control D and make a duplicate and move our center rotation to the center and rotate it 90 degrees control D control D then if you took your other shape and made it that same thickness which was 1.25 degrees and then make it red whoop I hit the wrong red now that shows like that because it's in the back of the page or order front of page. And there you have it. You've got exactly what she wanted where she could make it two colors. And if she didn't, if they don't want the two colors, they can do that. These are all done with outlines, a certain thickness. Now we could go a little further and go convert them to an object. And we could left click and right click. But there, sometimes you can have a little bit of a, a problem here when you do that because of the fact that, remember, we have, there's going to be two lines right there. And sometimes the well tool doesn't work good when you do that. And this is not one of them or one of them. It's not one of them. It worked fine. And then, well, I'll take it back. It didn't work fine. It deleted a couple lines. So... You know, whenever you're trying to weld, you can actually just see what's going on. Now, there's a way around that. You can take your virtual segment of delete key and delete all the way around. <laughs> and this is just a way around it. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, then you just take your smart fill tool. And I believe that the inside is black and the outside is red. And it happens that quick and you can... Do whatever you want to with it. I think it looks quite good. Uh, I've made three different variations. This is a little short. Uh, this is a little taller. 
Uh, that one might be the best one yet. But that's why I said keep this. Because if it looks funky, do that again. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.